Okay, so good day. Uh, we are now in the chapter 3 of our subject, Statistics and Probability. So, our lesson for today is about uh, how to construct sampling distribution of sample means. Okay, so let's define first what is the sampling distribution of sample means. So, based on the book, a frequency distribution using the means... Uh, it is a frequency distribution using the means of computed computed from all possible samples. So, meaning to say, it is frequency distribution na merong mean. At yung mean na yun is galing sa possible samples of a specific size taken from a population. So, imagine nung natin na table siya na merong frequency distribution at may mean and probability. Okay. Example. A population consists of the numbers 2, 4, 9, 10, and 5. Let us list all possible samples of size 3 from this population and compute the mean of each sample. Okay, so first, uh, let's understand them. So, kung ilan nga ba yung given na population? Okay, so yung population given, or our big letter N, no? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, meron tayong population na 5. At yung sample size or size of samples. Size of samples. Small letter N is equal to, ang sabi dito, possible samples of size 3. So, meaning to say, our small letter N is 3. Okay. So, yan. Na determine na natin yung given. The next thing we need to do is to uh, determine how many possible samples of size 3 can be drawn from the given. Okay, so gagamit tayo ng combination formula which is uh, nc small letter n is equal to big letter n factorial over n factorial minus n minus small letter n factorial. Okay, so we just do the substitution, no? Okay, so 5 factorial, ito yung 5, over 3 factorial, ito yung 3, times the quantity 5 minus 3 factorial. Okay, then uh, 3 factorial, ay 5 factorial is equal, wait, 5 minus 3 factorial pala is uh, 2. So we have 2 factorial, copy the 5 factorial. Okay. Then here, we expand the 5 factorial. 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. Titigil tayo sa 3 factorial para makancel out itong nasa baba. Okay? Yung 3 factorial. 3 factorial over 2 factorial. So, cancel, cancel. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. 2 factorial means 2 times 1, which is equivalent to 2. And 20 divided by 2 is 10. So... The pass, there are 10 possible samples of size 3 that can be drawn from the given population. Okay? Next, uh, alam na natin na yung malilis down lang natin na possible samples is 10. Okay? So, next, we will list down now the samples. Okay? Gawa tayo ng table. Okay, like this, no? Okay. okay, so first, uh, yan. So yung first column natin, palanga, pangalanan natin sample. Sample, okay. Then, we list down natin. So we have, kanina, we have, uh, two, eto. Yung population natin is 2, 4, 9, 10, and 5. So, sa pag-list down ng sample, kailangan natin kumuha ng tatlong numbers uh, kasi size 3. Okay? Kukuha tayo from this population, kukuha tayo ng tatlong sample. Okay, kasi size 3. So, example, uh, 249 is one of the samples. Possible samples. Uh, we can also write 2, 4, 10. Okay? Or we can write 2, 4, 5. Okay. So, yan. So, just remember, no, na meron ka na ditong 249 kasi combination to. So, 
means the order does not matter. So, 249 and 294 is counted as 1. So, hindi ka na pwedeng magsulat ng 294 dito or 429 kasi nandito na yung 249. Okay, I hope you understand that. Next, tayo. So, lilist down natin lahat, no? Uh, we can also write 245 and 2910. Um, 295 um, 215 and also 4910 also we can write 495 and also 410 and 910 Okay. So, let's count, no? Ito pala. Okay, let's count, no? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So, ito na lahat. Kung i-check mo yan, walang repetition na nangyari or walang dumoble, no? So, lahat yan ay unique. No? At dahil 10 na yung na-list down natin na unique uh, samples, ibig sabihin wala ka ng ibang may isip. Bakit? Kasi yung possible samples lang natin dito is 10. No? So, imposible magkaroon ka pa dito ng mailista. No? So, that's it. Next, uh, kukunin na natin yung mean. Okay? You, during your junior high school, no? you have learned how to get the mean or the average. So, you, you just simply add and divide. So, for example, 2 plus 4 plus 9 is... Um, 16, tama ba? Ay, 15. Okay. 15 divided by 3 is 5 or 5.00. Lagyan natin ng dalawang 0. Okay, so bakit dinibide natin by 3? Kasi, 1, 2, 3. Tatlo yung inad natin. No? Another, 2 plus 4 plus 10 is 16. Okay, we have 16 divided by 3 is 5.00. 33. Okay, so ganun lang yung pagkuha ng mean, no? So add lang tapos divide mo kung ilan yung inad mo. 2 4 2 4 2 plus 4 plus 5 is 11 divided by 3 is uh, 3.67. Uh ito ay 21 so 7.00. 2 plus 9 plus 5 is uh, 16 divided by 3 is 5.33. 2 plus 10 plus 5 is 5 point, uh, divide by 3 is 5.67. 4 plus 9 plus 10 is 7.67. Kung hindi divide mo by 3. 4 plus 9 plus 5 is 18. Divide by 3 is 6.00. Or 6. 4 plus 10 plus 5 divide by 3 is 6.33. 4, 9 plus 10 plus 5 is 24. Divide by 3 is 8.00. Okay. So, eto na ngayon yung mga means ng sample. Okay, so, eto yung tinatawag natin means, mga mean. No? So, eto ay mga mean ng samples. Okay. The next thing we need to do is uh, get their frequency. So, gawa ulit tayong table. No? Yan. Ito yung uh, medyo complicated sa statistics, no? Kasi maraming table. Uh, hahaba talaga yung uh, lectures mo. Kasi sobrang dami ng table. Okay, so mean. Or sample mean. Sulat natin. Sample mean. Ayan. So, copyin lang natin to. No? So, first, uh, from slow, from Lowest to highest, yun na lang yung pagsulat natin. So, 3.67 followed by 5.00 followed by uh, 5.33 Mapapansin natin dito 5.33 and 5.33 ay dalawa. Pero, isa lang yung isusulat natin dito sa sample mean. No? Then, we also have 5.67 6.33 0, 0, 6.33 7.00 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0,
7.67 and 8.00. Okay. <clears throat> Next is kukunin natin yung frequency nila. Okay, so yung 3.67 as you can see here, isa lang, no? So we have 1. Then yung 3. Uh, 5.00 1 lang din. Yung 5.33, 1 2, so dalawa. So sulit na rin 2. 5.67 is isa lang din. At yung iba ay mga isa lang, no? So yun, yung frequency nila. Kung itutotal natin 'yan, no? equal sila lahat sa 10 kasi 10 yung possible samples natin that can be drawn from the given population okay so next is uh, para maging sampling distribution na siya of sample means kukunin na lang natin yung probability gawa lang tayo ng panibagong column no? okay so probability yung simple ng sample di ba dati is x tapos may bar sa taas okay probability of sample means ito yung simple nya so dahil yung frequency nya is 1 so yung probability nya is 1 out of ito 1 over 10 ganon din dito dahil 1 lang to so we have 1 over 10 ito is 2 so ibig sabihin 2 over 10 or pwede din simplify natin 1 over 5 no? so isa lang yung isusulat mong sagot no? so pwedeng 2 over 10 or 1 over 5, huwag mo nang dalawahin para hindi maguluhan yung teacher mo next, ganun din dito we have 1 out of 10 1 out of 10 1 out of 10 uh, 1 out of 10, 1 out of 10 and 1 over 10 ok, kung itututal mo lahat ng to dapat mag-equal sa 1. Okay? So, eto na yung tinatawag nating uh, sampling distribution of sample means. Okay. So, yun. Kung babalikan natin yung steps, una, kunin mo yung uh, possible samples. No? using the formula of combination sunod is uh, kunin mo yung mean ng bawat samples tapos yung last is ay yung third step bilangin mo kunin mo yung frequency ng bawat mean and last is get the probabilities Okay, so I hope you understand, no? If you have queries, just message me. Thank you for watching.